Wimbledon take on Morecambe in the third round of the FA Cup. Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today this is the match day preview for Tottenham's third round game in the FA Cup. Today we welcome League One side Morecambe to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the third round of the Emirates FA Cup. Alright then, so let's kick off this video by talking about the form coming into today's game at the, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So Morecambe, their last six games, win, loss, draw, loss, loss and a win. Obviously Morecambe, they have already played in the competition, obviously. Looking at Morecambe's really in the FA Club, obviously they beat Newport County in the first round by a goal to nil. And then in the last round they beat non-league side Buxton by a goal to nil. Obviously Morecambe, their last match was a 4-3 win against Doncaster. Doncaster were winning 3-0, but Morecambe came back to win 4-3. So, maybe that could happen today, but who knows. But this is um, the Tottenham form coming into the game today. So, we have a loss, win, loss, win, draw, win, win, and a draw. So, obviously, we've only won three games in the last six. Uh, we beat Watford, Crystal Palace, and West Ham in the Carabao Cup. Obviously, this, this is our first game in the FA Cup this season. And obviously, with the draw being about 20 minutes before the Arsenal game, um, if we win, we'll find out who'll be playing the next round. But yeah, that's the form coming into today's game. All right, then, so what is my score prediction for today's game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? Now, you know, I think realistically we should be winning this game. We will probably play a probably, probably our second team, maybe, because, you know, it is Morecambe. They are a League One side. But, you know, Morecambe, you know, they came back to win 4-3 in their game against Doncaster. So, I think they will be up for this. But I'm going to predict Tottenham 3, Morecambe 1. All right, then, so let's have a look at the players to look out for. Let's start with Morecambe. So, I think one month I am going to start with is Cole, Cole Stockton, obviously. Um, the Morecambe striker, he's been, he's been really good for them this season. Uh, 22 matches in League 1, 15 goals and 2 assists. Very good. There. Um, I think another player we need to keep an eye on is midfielder. If, it, if I can even pronounce it well, I'll just show you because I can't really pronounce it. But this guy here, if I'm just keeping on that guy. But yeah, and then I think defensively, uh, Liam Gibson, 7.1 against Do against Doncaster, so he must have had a good game. So I think we need to keep an eye on Stockton, number 8, and Gibson. Um, so yeah, for any more fans watching the video, which I doubt, I think these are the players you need to keep an eye on after our defeat against Chelsea. Uh, I think against Chelsea, we were really poor, in my opinion. Um, I think probably our only good player in that game, probably. I don't know, to be fair. Well, look, according to Fortnite, uh, Hoiberg got 7.3, but he's not really going to play, is he? So pretty much no one, to be honest. All right, then, so it is time for my predictive lineup to take on Morecambe. Um, today at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So in goal, I'm going to pick Alfie Whiteman. Now, obviously, it probably will be Galini in goal, but you know, I think we need to give other keepers a go. Like we need to give like Alfie Whiteman a go and other players. Like I, I think this is a game where Whiteman and other players could play. Like I've, Alfie Whiteman, he was on loan out as Swedish team, and I think he is back from his loan. I'll just have a look now. I think he's back from his loan. Yeah, he is. He's back from his loan. Now he was on loan um, at De Dega Forest. I don't know where they're from. But looking at what he did for them, he did quite well, to be fair. Looks like he did all right. See, I'll give Whiteman a go and see how he gets on. And then a back three, I'm going with Shafat Tanganga, Joe Rodon, and, uh, and Pask Otzi. Obviously, Pask... Pask Otzi, he did play in pre-season. And obviously he is a Estonian defender. And, um, you know, in pre-season, I think he did all right. So, you know, I think today is the day that we could see him play. See how he gets on. And obviously I think Tanganga, right centre-back, he did play against Chelsea. And he was, what was he doing for the first goal? And, you know, Joe Rhodes and a lot, of, a lot of clubs have been interested in him. So, yeah, I think we'll start him. So, yeah. And right wing back, I'm going with Matt Doherty. Obviously, um, he has been linked with a move back to Wolverhampton Wanderers. So, I think he will play today, Doherty, um, at right wing back. Um, two in the middle of Harry Winks, 
and Alfie Devine. Obviously, Alfie Devine did play against Marine. Fun fact, we played Marine one year ago today and he was the youngest ever player to score in an FA Cup game for Tottenham. So I think Devine will start alongside Winks in the middle of the midfield. And then I think Ryan Sessegnon will play at left wing back. Um, he didn't play against Chelsea, so I think he'll come in for this game today. And then a front three of Jack Clark, Dane Scarlett and Brian Hill. Obviously, Jack Clark hasn't played a lot this season. Obviously, when the last time he played was in pre-season, like, pa like past Otzi. So, I think Clark will play. Scarlett up front, you know, he has. I think he has played a few games this season. Um, I think he played one game in the Conference League. But, yeah, um, so I think Scarlett will play today because uh, Sky Sports said that Kane will be rested. So, Scarlett will probably start up front. And then Brian Gill on the left. Obviously, Son is injured, so obviously, oh... Well, we could play Bergwijn, but I'll just play Gill anyway. So yeah, um, so yeah. So my prediction lineup is Alfie Whiteman in goal, Tanganga, Rodon, and Pask Otzi in the back three, Doherty and Setting on wing backs, Winks and Devine in the middle, and Clark, Scarlett, and Gill up front. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like, subscribe. See you next time.